name is T. I'm Orin. My name is Eric Drummond. My name is Rashida Amanda Omia. Well, my name is Kevin. My name is Mark Visser. I have been in Japan a total of four and a half, going on five years. And I've been living in Japan for about eight years now. I've been living here since 2011. I have lived in Japan collectively for five years. Um, I've been in Japan for about 25 years, I think. I've been in Japan for 16 years, I think. I'm, I'm just about to start my 17th year. None of it was supposed to work, and we're just going along with it. Hello and welcome to JQ&A Season Two: Married with Children in Japan. This is Episode One. Welcome back. I'm your host, Catherine. Everyone, welcome to JQ&A Season Two: Married with Children in Japan. Have you missed me? I know it's been quite a long break. To be honest, I think I might adjust for that in the future, but we'll talk about that at a later date. Now, I want to get into our new season because it is an exciting one. I've got some interesting people and some great topics to discuss. I cannot wait to dive head first, but. Before I do that, I do have to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Whether you are new to the podcast or returning back from last season, I am so glad you've joined us. As those of you who have listened to past episodes of JQ and A already know, I like to make the first episode an introduction. This is an opportunity for you to get to know a little bit about each and every one of my guests. I could tell you about them myself, but. I find that it's much more fun to hear them explain who they are. Without further delay, let's jump right in. Hey, so my name is Rashida Amanda Omia, but you guys can just call me Amanda. That's easier, I guess. I am currently a housewife and mom, stay-at-home mom. But I originally came to Japan through the JET program, and I was an ALT or assistant language teacher,、uh, working in Hokkaido. I have been in Japan a total of four and a half, going on five years, and I've been married for going on two years, and we have one and a half children. We have a one and two. Well, she's one years old. A little, well, a little over one years old. She's one and two months, and I am currently four and a half months pregnant with baby number two. Yeah, we we got started really fast with our family, and we're just going along with it. Hello, I'm Orin, and on YouTube, I am Dances with Cranes. Here in Japan, I'm an assistant language teacher in Maizuru, Kyoto, and. I've been living here since 2011. My wife and I have been married for six years. We had our first child in 2014. My name is Eric Drummond. Sometimes I go by the moniker of Brother Grim around the interwebs. I have lived in Japan collectively for five years. I was here once back in the mid and mid to late 90s when I was with the military. And I was stationed in Japan. They offered me the opportunity to、uh, to be stationed in Japan, and I jumped on it because it's something that I had always wanted to do. I joined、uh, the military, specifically the Navy, for the sole reason and purpose of getting out and traveling and exploring the world as much as I could. So when that opportunity came up, I, I, I went for it. Arrived in Japan, and I spent three years here or, you know, originally. Not long after I arrived, I met a girl. And we hit it off really well, and、uh, about a year after we'd met, we ended up getting married. And I was very young at the time. I was 22 years old, honestly. And things sped right along, including、uh, the building of a family sped right along too. None of it was supposed to work. You know, we were to- from two to- totally different countries. We、uh, 
We didn't speak each other's language very well. She spoke very good English. She had lived abroad in uh, in England and Australia before, and English was kind of her hobby, so practicing and studying English. So she spoke more of my language than I spoke of hers. We had our first child while we were still here in Japan before he had left, and he lived the first, actually, three years of his life here because I went back to the U.S. a little bit earlier than she did after my tour here with the military was up. They, they rotated me back to the United States, and she caught up with me a little bit later. So our son was born here. Years passed, and we had a daughter as well. She was born uh, when we were still living in the U.S. Now, we have been in the U.S. for a long time. Uh, honestly, but we were there, what, I think 14 years is, when we, is how long we lived in the United States. All of this while we were still holding it together. I mean, we, nobody ever thought that it would work. But here it is. We've been together for uh, over, uh, for 18 years, really, and either it's working or it's just one, you know, really long game of chicken. So time will tell. I often joke to people that uh, how did you make it work? And we said, well, we didn't really. We did, we were thinking about getting divorced, but we really hate paperwork. But while we were in the U.S., we'd always wanted to come back to Japan, but. During the time when I was still in the military, that it was just never something that they, they came up to offer me. And when I left the military, moving to Japan and visiting Japan is a very expensive venture. It's not something that is cheap to do. As probably those of you who are listening to this can attest to, just one plane ticket by itself to Japan is not cheap. By the time we were really thinking about moving back here, it would cost us four plane tickets and the moving of all of our stuff, which, honestly, I just could never afford. We never made all that much money, and it got to the point where we had to, we had to roll the dice and we had to take a chance. So, we did. We, we took a chance on getting a, uh, getting a job here in Japan, and I ended up being accepted, so we literally sold everything we owned packed our bags, moved to Japan to hope for the best. We've been here for two years now. So all together, I have lived in Japan for five years. Um, our children grew up mostly in the United States, mostly speaking English, particularly reading and writing. So one of the other big hang-ups for us to move back to Japan was what are we going to do about their school? What are we going to do about their education? Because they certainly did not pick up enough Japanese, especially in reading and writing, to go to school at their grade level, and the older they got, the more difficult it became to make that decision. But after doing a lot of research, we kind of, we, we caught on to some of the tricks of the trade in moving to Japan with kids, especially school-aged kids. Now that that problem had been fixed, we are here, and we are not planning on moving anywhere anytime soon. Hello, I'm back. My name is T short for Teresa, and I'm currently working as a caregiver here. Um, I've been in Japan for about 25 years, I think, and I've been married for 18, and I have one daughter, and she'll be 14 this month. My name is Mark Visser. I go by the misspelled handle Sparkus on YouTube, among other places. I am a, an English teacher in Japan, teaching conversational English at a English conversation school and my own classes, teaching everything from elementary to, or no, from kindergarten all the way up to senior citizens. I've been in Japan for 16 years, I think. I'm, I'm just about to start my 17th year. I have been married for about 11 and a half years, and I have four children. Two girls and two boys. Well, my name is Kevin, and I've been living in Japan for about eight years years now. Uh, I'm a Canadian. I live and work, well, here in Japan. Uh, I work in the education industry. Uh, I'm a teacher at, a interna at an international school, so um, my job is essentially working as a homeroom teacher, much like I would in my native country of Canada. I have a class of my own students who I teach all subjects to. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a very interesting experience. I've been living in the same city here in Japan for the entire time I've been here. Um, and I've been married for pretty much the same amount of time. I've been married for seven and a half years. And I have two children. 
I have a little boy who's uh, five years old and a little girl who's almost three years old. Yeah, and they're absolutely amazing little people, little kids. And they were both born here in Japan, in the same city where I've lived、uh, my entire time here. Before ending this week's episode, I want to say a huge thank you to Ron in Japan for suggesting one of this season's cast members. You really pointed me in a fantastic direction. I also want to take a minute to thank Kevin from the Just Japan podcast. Kevin is someone I've known for quite some time, and he recently featured JQA on episode 99 of the Just Japan podcast. He gave me an opportunity to share my new creation with an entirely different audience, and I know some of you are listening right now. Thank you so much for joining, by the way. I know I've said it before, but. I'm so happy to have you around. Kevin has always been a huge supporter of every type of content I create, and I can't thank him enough for that. So, if you're listening, Kevin, thanks. Next week on JQA, I'm asking my guests whether or not marriage and then children was part of their original plan when coming to Japan. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an interesting one. On behalf of myself and the entire cast of JQA Season 2, thanks for listening, and we hope to see you next time. <laughs>